Welcome to part three of the Fat Loss for Women Over 40 series holiday edition. Yes, I'm recording these back to back so that you can have the content back to back. But what I want to talk to you about is mindset. Mindset is a large factor of what I fit focus on in my 100 day fit mind and body transformation program. Because oftentimes it isn't that we don't know that we should move our bodies more, or it isn't that we know that we can nourish our bodies differently. It is that we keep ourselves in a pattern and a cycle of self sabotage, this paradigm that keeps us stuck thinking that we can't do anything different. And I find this ex especially true during the month of December going into the end of the year that people get this mindset of going all in on the holidays and thinking that they just, it needs to be a free for all, derailing their progress, derailing how they're feeling, derailing their practices that really keep them feeling good and feeling for lack of better words, in control, right? Because you can still be in control and have your cake and eat it too. This is one of the big philosophies I believe and I teach in my program. So I want to share one of the things that we spoke about this week inside my transformation program, this idea of being all in or actually lacking commitment. The idea of being all in is this really interesting concept of women taking this on as though it's going to work for them. Because if you half ass a program like my program, and in fact, you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. If you half ass how you show up in your business, if you half ass how you show up in your relationship, if you half ass how you show up at work, if you half ass how you show up with your kids, oftentimes you're probably gonna get half ass results, right? Same is true for fat loss, for fitness, for metabolism. Even though you can have your cake and eat it too. And even though we're going into Christmas months or, or holidays and winter break, even though we're heading to the end of the year, and even though we need a break, and even though it is super busy, doesn't mean we can't be all in to being committed to taking care of ourselves, right? Just because life gets busy, and this is one of the boundaries that I teach women, just because life gets busy doesn't mean that we allow excuses to dominate our lives, doesn't mean that we throw in the towel and you know, throw self-care out the window. It doesn't mean that we start ignoring our children because work gets really busy. It doesn't mean that we ignore our partners and no longer have date nights because our kids demand more of us in the end of the year. No. In fact, this is the time to become hyper aware of your mindset, of how you think it's not possible. For example, one of my clients, it's getting really busy for work at her for work for her at this time of year, meaning that there are a lot of client meetings and meaning that there are a lot of after work commitments, like meeting clients, like work galas, like holiday wrap ups, like parties, like final meetings before the end of Q4. And this means that the regular time where she would meal prep and and plan gets thrown out the window and the regular time where she usually comes and sees me in the afternoons for training gets thrown out the window. So we kind of um, masterminded about what has fallen off over the last week because knowing you know, coming into December that things are going to falter, she's kind of taken a what's the point approach. So we reeled her back in and had the conversation of how can we be all in on ourselves, even when life gets busy, even when there are more demands, and even when it feel like there is not enough time for our own self-care and our own commitments, right? One of the things that we speak a lot about, and I want you to think about, are non-negotiables in our lives. I know for me, washing my face and brushing my teeth at the end of the day is a non-negotiable. FYI, I was a dental hygienist for a decade before fully going into fitness and my own fitness studio. But prior to that, you know, understanding the importance of flossing and brushing every day, twice a day, three times a day is ingrained, right? And it is a non-negotiable. If your health and that as your wealth is important to you, Movement will be non-negotiable. Nourishing your body will be non-negotiable. Right now, I'm on a bit of a kick because it is busy for me also. I have subscribed for the next four weeks to Good Food, which is a food delivery service that allows me to make a meal under 30 minutes with all the ingredients so I don't have to try to mastermind how I'm going to feed my family well. It is just an easy way to get it done. 
That's number one. Number two, I've actually also ordered, it's called Inspired Go. These are salads that are already pre-made. I like to meal prep typically, but these next four weeks are going to be insanely busy with kids' activities, with my daughter's play, with prepping our place up north where we ski, to prepping to go away uh, over the Christmas break, to prepping to move some stuff up to our chalet. So there's a lot going on, and I know that weekends are going to be quite jam-packed. So I've committed to, for the next four weeks, doing meal delivery services for my lunches. And this literally looks like that I've ordered from Inspired Go, and I will put the link wherever you're watching this so you can too can try it for $15 off. But I'm literally ordering this so that I can only make proteins. I don't have to wash, cut, prep, chop vegetables. It comes with carbs and veggies, a ton of veggies in the salad. And then I just have to add in a protein. So for me, this is an amazing way to stay on track. And in my mindset, this is about going all in. Yes, it is a treat to be able to do this. And this is what I'm doing as a, you know, a holiday gift for myself. But this is the all in mentality. And in terms of movement, I have some new clients at 6 a.m., so I'm not able to work out myself from 6 to 7 a.m. So what I'm committing to is getting those extra steps in, is committing to an afternoon workout a week, right? I do usually two workouts first thing in the morning at 6 a.m., so I'm able to keep in two, but I'm losing my third and fourth, right? So what am I doing? I'm committing to getting it in. And like I spoke about in episode one, Scheduling it in, even if it's a 15 minute quick hit workout or a resistance training workout, that is better than nothing. And also that all in mentality is also being gentle with myself and generous with myself, knowing that I can't do it all and knowing that I don't want to burn out during this month. That is super important. So I want you to think about how can you be all in, in this month, meaning having your cake, eating it too, supporting yourself physiologically and metabolically to move your body and nourish it well. That is really important. I hope this episode served you and please make sure you tune in for episode four, where I talk about self-sabotage and what you can do in face of these things that come up over the holiday. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next part four. Bye for now.